Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to this daily currency call where Jin shares his analysis and ideas for a specific currency for each day. So the schedule of the week is usually Monday, Aussie and Kiwi, Tuesday, Euro, which is today, Wednesday, Pound, Thursday, Yen and Gold, Friday, Canadian Dollar. So I see many familiar names here, but I do see some um, new names too. So help me with this poll so that I know is this your first time here. So um, yeah, this webinar is going to be very beneficial to both the long-term investors and short-term traders. Jin will be going through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, and also highlighting potential targets and risks. So a disclaimer here, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade. Recommendation, it is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. So just a quick look at the poll. Yeah, we do have uh, a couple of new people here. So uh, do let me know uh, how did you get here? Yeah, so uh, do fill up the poll while I introduce uh, Jin to the people that don't, uh, have not uh, attended this webinar before. So Jin is the founder of LCMS Traders and Forex Briefcase. He teaches members of the LCMS Traders Club on how to trade FX. And for Forex Briefcase, he trades an account with more than uh, US $10 million on a daily basis for his managed account clients. He is also an international speaker where he speaks uh, in countries like Hong Kong, UK, US, Australia, and uh, mostly Southeast Asian countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, and of course, Singapore, uh, recently featured in local radio, sharing his views about the FX market. So yeah, just quick look at the poll. We do have a lot of you guys coming in from the Telegram channel. So I would like to take this opportunity to share um, what the Traders Club is about. So yeah, if you take a look at my screen. So um, this is our private group on Facebook where we teach, guide, signal, and coach you to be a better and more profitable trader. So regardless of whether you are new, experienced, part-time or full-time, there are tons to learn from this group. So if you have joined, you have joined us from the Telegram, uh, you may find this familiar. You have been enjoying our trade signals for free. But a question you might have here is, you know when to enter, but you do not know where to exit. So in the Traders Club, we not only give you the signals earlier, we also tell you the strategy behind this, this signal. So we actually guide you on where to exit also with specific reasons. So just a quick look at my screen. Um, when we push out the signal here, it's earlier than Telegram. And we actually give you the analysis behind this, behind this signal. So um, if you are attending the four day course right now, uh, this week you will learn the five steps technique. And this is exactly how we enter trades. So this is a continuous practice every time we push out the signal. And not only that, um, you get to see uh, where do we ask you to secure profits, 20 pips or 40 pips. You don't get all this in the Telegram channel. So this is uh, additional information, important additional information you get in Traders Club. So you know in the long run, you not only earn from the signals, but you also learn how to trade. Uh, yeah, so this is the signals. If you are really new to trading, we have a uh, Zoom, live Zoom webinar sessions on Monday and Wednesday evenings. We run through trade ideas, teach you new strategies, update you on um, market developments, uh, recent economic developments. And so this is the opportunity for you to pick Gene's brain on anything uh, trading related. So if you look at this, um, look at my screen, on Monday, we actually have uh, Gene's live call so usually what we do is a last week economic roundup to get you guys ready for this week's trading, signal analysis and coaching. And then Gene will do a group coaching, mostly uh, identifying trades and talking about psychology of full-time trading. So yeah, um, on top of that, we also have a wide range of analysis here. Oh wait, so on, on Wednesday, we do have a tutorial videos, uh, tutorial sessions with Daniel to teach you more about trading in general, like trend, chart patterns, divergence. Yeah, so uh, these are the webinars that we have hold every week. Um, on top of that, we have a wide, wide range of analysis here that we 
they have correlation table, daily watch list, daily analysis, yeah, currency watch list. We tell you actually, uh, we go through the charts and then we give you the a bias on what to actually do by yourself. Uh, yeah, so uh, we also have breaking news analysis, providing you with all the best possible information, shortcutting your way to trading success. So to join this um, group, it's very simple. You just have to hop on to tradersclub.lcms.com.sg, scroll all the way down, and click on the 199 a year. So if you're facing any uncertainty or taking unnecessary risk on your trading, this is where you need to join, get some guidance towards your profit, coaching, get some coaching to improve on your strategy and confidence. So I uh, just want to end off saying that uh, trading with a large community like in Traders Club, with senior traders, coaches, and gin around to guide you, uh, your trading journey will definitely be more enjoyable and profitable. So uh, with that, I'll pass the time now to Jin for the currency call. You, mean you like my background? Absolutely. <laughs> I like my background. I thought I thought you would like my background. All right. Uh, it is Tuesday. Um, what are we going on today? We're talking about the Euro US dollar. We're talking about the Euro pound. We've seen a lot of movements. Um, yesterday, we're probably going to see a lot more movements today as well. You know said it yesterday markets although there are not a lot of um, news as pushing the dollar or pushing the aussie dollar or pushing a lot or any of the pairs around too much the main thing this week will be that focus on the brexit talk whether there's a deal whether there's no deal what's going to push prices uh, higher or significant lower right um, you might be wondering, I was just talking about my background here. If you look at it, um, the main news today, aside from FX, is the um, JD Health is already up 42.67% on the last time we looked at this screenshot. So I don't, this, this is not live, so don't worry about that number. It's just up there for fun. Um, looking at the news, looking at the news we have here Today is Tuesday, okay, um, we've gone through a, quite a number of news already early in the morning, but you'll see that there's not a lot of news happening. We have some GDP numbers um, quarter on quarter for the Eurozone, 12.6% expected to hold, expected year on year to be minus 4.4%. If you have attended my four-day program, day two, we spoke about economics, we spoke about a fundamental analysis. And I actually told you on day two not to consider GDP for the Eurozone. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, make sure you join the four-day program. The video is still there for you to watch. Um, let me find it, actually. Uh, if I scroll down, 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 down. Where is it? There. All right, that's day two. I think that's day two video. So it's still there for you to watch. You know, um, the economic side is there. Tonight, we'll be going through the technicals, um, looking at the charts. You all love charts. You all think it's the most important thing. It is not the most important. It is the second most important thing. Um, how to look at trends, support, resistance. Uh, if you have already downloaded the platform, um, install the indicators and the templates I've provided to you do great if you haven't make sure you do that tonight seven o'clock we'll go through that um, and if you need a trading account you know make sure you jump onto that one pip spread 100% bonus credit for every thousand dollars you get free traders club as well so Chinwei told you to pay 199 I'm telling you don't pay any money Get your trading account, get it absolutely free, one year free LCMS Traders Club. All right, this is a limited time. Make sure you join and sign up right now. Um, coming back to the news. So, coming back to the news, where are we? Can we, can we let people in the group here? So, coming back into the news, um, not a lot of 
is GDP numbers for the Eurozone, not too concerned about that. And then not a lot more for today. The main thing, if you're looking at the Euro dollar, the main thing to pay attention to is the pound or the UK Brexit discussion and also the monetary policy statement um, happening tomorrow or Thursday, Thursday evening at 8.45. Policy statement, rate decision is going to stay the same, but we're going to see what they're talking about in the policy statement, whether there's going to be further stimulus to you know, booster the economy in because of what has happened with COVID, that third, fourth, fifth wave they've suffered through already. Okay. Um, as I said, we've been seeing a lot of volatility. If you scroll down on Forex Trading Asia.com here, you can see that, um, well, we'll talk about JD.com. It's not my website, although I would love it to be. It's, where is it? Okay. Main reason why we saw the big drop in the pound, I know I talk about pound tomorrow, but the main thing we saw about that drop in pound and the fluctuations in the euro dollar yesterday was because of this whole thing where the Brexit deal not possible yet, so Johnson to speak. That's one news. And then also the break, no Brexit deal, little chance. Pound cuts, some losses as Johnson heads to Brussels to broker a deal. So they're still talking about that deal. Um, I lost that headline where they actually said they is not going to make a deal if they are demanding too much. Okay, so the main thing was when they come out and say might not have a deal if Eurozone is going to de demand too much, that caused a big drop in the pound dollar. But then we also saw the move some downward move in the euro dollar. Now everything seems to be on hold, on pause because of that headline where they look to be still brokering that deal. Okay, so main thing is don't get too crazy. Don't jump into any positions thinking that it'll be there for the long term. Looking at the charts here, um, this is the euro US on the H4 time frame. The main thing to pay attention to is that that big upward move yesterday when I told you about, you know, I was getting excited about the euro dollar. It was coming close to that point. Um, at this point now, I actually think that we could see further upside, further upside into the euro dollar as it looks like it's bouncing off this 1.2087 level. Okay, I'll zoom in one more. It looks like it's sitting across right now. It looks like it could bounce up of this level. I might actually move it up towards uh, even 1.21. Okay, at 1.21, it looks like a very good support level. Holding, holding over the past one, two, three, four, five candles, 20 hours, one day ago, it's been holding at this level. If this support level holds at 1.21, we could see further upside. Um, quite simply, you know, you could be looking at a 40 pip stop loss straight away. You could see that first 40 pips moving up towards the last week's um, last week's high. Okay, so I would say look for that buying opportunity. If it goes above 1.2125, um, 40 pip stop loss straight away. You've got that 50 pip take profit towards the high towards last week's high but also make sure you have a resistance level um i'll zoom out a bit let's look for resistance level we've got one very high at 1.2426 i think that's a little bit too high you might even consider one more at about 1.2270 okay so back to the h4 time frame if this level holds we could see further upside towards 1.2271. Okay, so um, actually, I would think I think this is quite a nice trade. I'm, I would be quite interested in this trade. Above 1.2125, you know, 40 pip stop loss very quickly. 40, 50 pip take profit from yes from last week's high, or a total of 130 pip profit upwards towards 1.2271. Okay, I think, I think this would be a nice trade. 
given positive news from the Brexit deal, given that 1.2100 holds um, as a good support level. All right. Um, Euro pound now on the H4 time frame, we saw that big shoot up hit the 9122 resistance level and came straight back down again. This is the importance of why you need your good support or understand and trust your support and resistance levels and all that technical tools that can help you. For example, this blue arrow telling you that it's too late to buy in or you know that resistance level telling you, you know maybe it's not going to continue upwards all those three tails trying to go higher and failing, telling you that, you know, maybe it's going to hit lower. At this point now, I think Euro pound would or is likely to come down and test this 9024. But I think that we're going to see quite a bit more volatility in the Euro pound, especially with how the pound dollar, I'll do a quick view of the pound dollar is moving we could see it looks like it's come down hit this 1.32 and bounced off it could see some further upside hence that euro pound coming lower but i don't think it would i don't think this trade downwards of 30 40 pips is something to be super um, interested something for you to be super interested with because 40 pips you know you would have to manage that quite closely especially with all that brexit news happening I would be more interested in watching. If you're going to be watching a trade, be watching this euro dollar um, if it does hold above 1.21 to see that further upside. If it does break below, I wouldn't be too tempted to sell um, because it goes against that overall big trend. I'll be looking for that buying opportunity. The more likely scenario is that it will probably come up, test this 50 something pips and then bounce within this range again. So try that out. Um, I would think that the Euro dollar is going to be more interesting than the Euro pound. Um, just a bit of a side note. I do notice that a lot of you have just popped on to the call. You know, quick reminder again, turn up on time. Sometimes I have a lot to share. Sometimes I have very little to share. So, you know, if you turn up late, you miss a lot. Um, for those of you who are attending the four-day program, we will see you tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, we're going through the technical information, the trend, the support resistance, the candlesticks, chart patterns, uh, indicators, putting it all together, giving you the view of what to do when you're looking at your charts. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for the account and make sure you set up your trading platform. All right. Um, KK just asked, missed my earlier message, mentioned that chart is the second most important thing. What is the most important thing? Yes, it would be the news equal to the second, the equal, sec, equal most important thing is news and also that psychology, right? The trading psychology, the trading strategy all put together. Um, a lot of people look at charts. The uh, main thing I was trying to say that the chart is not the most important thing. It's actually second to news, to trading strategy, to psychology, to managing that trade. Um, you don't just look at a chart and decide whether to buy or sell because a lot of times, you know, that fluctuation in prices on the charts cause people to jump in or out of trades um, very quickly, getting emotional with the trades. So we want to try to encourage that slightly less emotional trading method. Hope that answers your question there, KK. Um, with that said, oh, uh, fantastic. With that said, I'll pass it back to Jinwei. Okay, thank you, Jin. So yeah, before you guys leave, to tell me with this webinar, what do you think of? How many of this poll? What do you think about this webinar? So I'm gonna post up some links right now. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the daily recordings, our Telegram channel for the free signals, Traders Club, and also the four day course. So if you're interested to get Traders Club for free one year, join the four day course group. 
and then uh, the instructions is on the pin post. So anyway, you're going to have a trading account to trade anyway. Why not just uh, sign up with us and then um, you get Traders Club for free to get supported in your learning. Yep, as Jin's background has shown. So do join the Traders Club. We have two more days, day three, day four, technical analysis and actual strategy. So it's not too late to join. So join us and to everyone that is joining us tonight, we'll see you tonight. Okay, so um, thank you for your time and see you guys tonight or tomorrow for the currency call. Bye.